Medical Association. That's right! As many donors. Woo! Well, the district was being sued to prevent funds. That's right! To make schools more accommodating for the state. You talked it well! So much for funny kids for our state by the Thirty seven. and Kelly Godas, Godas gave scrutiny either, as they too are a result of these super PACs, and as such are willing to turn a blind eye, which allows these pro-charter board members to advocate those that hold our interests. Oh, that's right. Therefore, it is no surprise when these board members set out to close and convert Pio Pico Middle School and Orville Wright Middle School into charter schools. Schools they deem as failing due to low enrollment rates, as the charters around them owe over $13 million to the district. They don't have our interests at heart. They have those of the multi-million dollar charter school industry instead. Astonishingly, our previous superintendents, John Deasy and Austin Butner, were magnitudes worse, as they were put into power by the late Bill, by the late billionaire Eli Broad and his heavily chartered center foundation. Both of these men were put there with no experience in education and left them in controversy and successfully paved the way to privatizing. <laughs> and recovery costs time after time. I have heard administration at different schools, like that of NOW Academy, tell That's teachers right. to teach APs like non-APs to ensure higher pass rates. Students at Hollywood entered stunted by the pandemic, and I have firsthand seen that they can barely manage basic arithmetic. I can only imagine how much worse it must be at other schools. This is not about an education. This is not about college. This is not about a career. This is about a system that profits off us, and because of this, perpetrates the failure of its students. Its students, in exchange for a gilded view of success that ensures those in power stay in power. So don't you dare conflate our success to that of this school's administration, and much less so the district. We're not a product of the district, even if we are treated as such. We're a product of our passion and the passion of our teachers who work day right. in and day out yeah. to educate us. That's right. That's right. Class of 2022, this is not yet over. This is only the beginning of a rough uphill battle that our district has left us unprepared for. Take a stance, start now, and fight back against the system that has left us to rot and fester. Fuck these people out of office and keep people like them from further ruining what our teachers worked so hard to foster. Right. Destabilize the status quo. That's right. Woo. 